James Kaufman, World News Report today, August 30th, 2022, 11 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, our electromagnetic shield has been hit, and it's ongoing. It seems to be intensifying. It's been hit for about the last eight hours plus. So if y'all didn't sleep well, there could be a reason. So this is our Schumann resonance. Now, based on the spiking we see on the electromagnetic field, uh, I believe that this is running behind. You can see 12, 14, and we're up to 16. This has always been running behind. So right now we're in a full spike past 105 hertz, which I'll show you very shortly on the six-day comparison. But the Schumann resonance has pretty much been off the hook since very, very early UTC time and very late last night. Again, I will show you the situation over near the station. We'll take a look at the barometric pressures and any lightning storms in the area, and we'll try to determine what caused this. CERN is still non-operational according to the internet and you can take that for what it's worth. So when we get down to it, it looks like that we've been off the hook as we are now. We weren't able to see this actual signature on the larger model for some reason. It is running behind. It has been for weeks, but we've been off the hook i.e. our Schumann resonance has spiked off the charts, charts here in at 50 hertz, for about the last nine hours. So each strip is six hours, and I'm underestimating with a nine-hour number, but I wanted to be reasonable. What is causing it, ladies and gentlemen? I have no idea. I looked at the space weather. I looked at the barometric pressure, and I looked at some lightning storms in the area. We'll take a look at all that. So these are the hourly strips of our geophones being hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours. So closer to nine and a half hours of actual, well, spiking and actually being hit with whatever we're being hit with so here we see again at 6 UTC time which is going to be about midnight last night here centrally we had it pop off and it's been going ever since midnight so that's uh, quite a long Schumann resonance spike it's been on and off and all over the place. I, again, don't know what's causing it, but it's very indicative here on the charts. All, all of our actual indicators are saying yes. Something is spiking in the Schumann resonance. Our geophones, our ULF, our ELF, our tooth, SR frequencies. Everything says it's a go, folks. Spike, spike, spike. How are you feeling out there? Feeling good? Feeling normal? You tell me. We're seeing spikes also on the Tomsk model. This has been ongoing for about 11 hours. It's still happening. All of them are not off the charts. The charts here in at 40 hertz. But uh, we still are seeing that signature, which matches, uh, matches up to what we're seeing in the Italian or on the Italian model. NASA is saying today that we have missed all 11 or 12 major MCMEs that were inbound. It's more than a Christmas miracle now, folks. What we see here are the solar winds from that coronal hole. They do move up to 622 kilometers per second. 
but uh, they're just not there now, and I just don't believe that they're the cause of what's going on. So we're gonna we're gonna we're not gonna consider space weather. Now I would like to look at the lightning in the area. Our station is located in Turin, and you can see the lightning hitting there. Uh, has it been going on for 12 hours? Well, let's take a look. This is 12 hours ago. This is where the station is right here. And let's watch that sequence of events and see if it might. Looks like they've seeded the clouds and caused the lightning. But really, not at all. Nothing really occurred. Until just recently, nothing occurred. So it went through earlier today. Nothing occurred for hours upon hours upon hours. And all of a sudden, at the end of the day, just now it started to reappear. But this is just now. Remember, our station is located in Turin right here. And that proved to be completely unaffected during most all of the hours of concern here. Although there was lightning associated before and afterwards, the turn has been lightning free for most of the period, almost all of the period that we're talking about, which is really strange. It should have lit up before we saw it light up, but it's not been being hit by lightning while we have seen the Schumann resonance spiking, period. Now, one of our viewers believes that barometric pressure has to do with the Schumann resonance going off. I believe that it might be just the opposite. It might be cause and effect or effect and cause. Chicken and egg, egg and chicken. Uh, the Schumann resonance going off might cause the barometric pressure to rise. So there's really no telling. You have to do a lot more work there. What we will do is we'll zoom in, take a look at Turin, and we're going to find out that there is no barometric pressure whatsoever in that area that can cause that. Here I'll put the metropolis of Turin, where we are located. Uh, obviously, uh, there is really no barometric pressure whatsoever at the time uh during this time or any other time so i don't think barometric pressure has anything to do with this unless it is i.e a result of these spikes but we would be seeing it now if so and if the barometric pressure was causing it we'd also see heavy barometric pressure in this exact area i think you would agree uh so we can actually cancel out barometric pressure, space weather, and lightning all. What is causing the Schumann resonance to spike on all the models? God bless you and yours, folks. Please share and subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.